Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Siobhan for anyone who's new and in today's video I am going to show you how to achieve the perfect black smoky eye in a few easy steps. By following these few easy steps it should make life easy on you in achieving the professional grade perfect smoky eye and the black that I used because I forgot to mention this throughout the video was my Captain of the Black Pearl Black matte eyeshadow by Catrice and this is a brilliant black eyeshadow. I recently did a video called The Battle of the Blacks and it was me pitting a load of black eyeshadows against each other and swatching them and all that to see which was the best performing black eyeshadow, so the most intense. This was one of the winning ones um, across the whole range despite the price and I was so impressed with how this, um, this perform so I will link to that below and here if you want to see some of those really really good eyeshadows and see the ones that weren't so good and I will be doing a part two on this soon but yeah that's pretty much it if I have missed anything feel free to leave any questions or queries below as always and if you do find this video useful or helpful feel free to give it a thumbs up which always helps me out so yeah without further ado just keep watching to see how it's done so before I start my smoky eye or any eye, I always apply some concealer or a foundation maybe to my lids. I'll just make sure the foundation isn't too matte. And then tip one would be to apply your highlight first. So if it's a very, um, very, very reflective or high shine highlight, only apply it where you want that highlight to be. But if it's more of a matte or a satin finish highlight, and you can have matte highlights, they just have to be lighter than your own skin tone. What you would do is bring it down to meet your crease. Now, if you were using an extremely shiny highlight, something maybe like nylon from MAC, I would press it only where needed, and then I would go in with a translucent face powder or a matte eyeshadow, and then bring it down to the crease. So the reason you bring it down as far as the crease is because when it comes to smoky eyes, you want the black to be very intense on the eyelid, but you want it to smoke above the crease. So you need it to be able to blend really, really easily, and it won't blend over a sticky base. So you don't really want to blend it over like a sticky um, eyeshadow base or like a concealer or whatever. It's easier to blend powders over powder because it's dry. So then tip number two is exactly the opposite of what I said, and that is to apply your sticky base to where you want the black to be. So whereas we want this to be dry, we want the actual moving lid to be sticky. This is my Black Bean Jumbo Eye Pencil by NYX. And don't bring it quite up to the crease, I'll show you why in a sec, but make sure that you get it right into the lash line. Now sometimes with the bigger pencils, it's harder to get it into the lash line. So in that case, I will have a little cold pencil beside me and then use that to really fill in any tiny little gap between the black and your lashes. And as well, just to make life easy on yourself, try and use something that won't set too quickly. That's why I went with Black Bean. If you have very oily lids, feel free to apply a, um, a drier primer underneath and then use your slightly more uh, pliable primer over the top. Next, what I'm gonna do is go in with a little brush and smudge that out. And this brush is a little bit too big. So yeah, I'm gonna go in with a slightly fluffier brush, but blend that out more on the outskirts but leave it as intense as possible closer to the lash. And then if you need to apply a little bit more, feel free to apply it just lower down. And again, blend out the edge. So this will give kind of a, a nice gradient. And at this stage, because I used such a blendable pencil, if you need to clean up anything with your fingers, this is the time to do it. And I do think a very useful tip when working with black products is to always have a clean, tissue on hand so you can wipe off your brush so it doesn't become too laden with product. Now this next part is optional but I personally always like to line my water lines when I am um, encircling my eyes with black essentially. So I'm going to tight line. This will just make sure that there's no kind of gap of skin visible underneath your lashes which can look very very obvious. Um, you know, juxtaposed against the black eyeshadow. So even if I wasn't lining my bottom waterline, I probably still would tight line. 
And then of course, go ahead and line your bottom waterline. And I make sure that I work the black coal pencil well in between the lashes. Particularly if you have a lot of lashes or like, you know, quite full lashes underneath your lower lash line, it can be hard to get product right in between the lash hairs. And then of course, you can apply some underneath the lash line as well. And this is always the stage where your eyes are gonna look a bit crazy because you just look like you've got raccoon eyes. But go in with a little pencil brush and then blend that into the lash line. And this will also help to take away any wee lumps of cold pencil that might have gotten stuck to your lashes. And if you do see any gaps, just use whatever product is on your brush and try and fill the gap in with the product. And just make sure you connect that top and bottom lid on the outer corner, just with a little V, again using whatever is on your brush. Okay, so my next tip, and this will really make your life easy when it comes to, or easier when it comes to um, blowing out or blending out black smoky eye, and that is to always, 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 always use a transitionary color. So a transitionary color is a mid-tone, fairly light to mid-tone color that will help transition the very dark color into your light highlight. Now, you could do this after the black, but I personally find it easier to apply this before I apply my black eyeshadow. So this is Kid by MAC, one of my favorite transition colors. And make sure you have your clean uh, tissue at this stage as well, in case you pick up some of the black cream by accident and start like putting it where you don't want it. Apply your transition color above your crease. So we don't want to have too much of the black above the crease, but you definitely want to have some of your transitionary color. It'll be down to your personal preference and your eye shape. I love to bring the transition color right up to the inner part of my brow and then leave the highlight free. And I'm constantly cleaning my brush off just in case there is a little bit of black product on there. And I'm just going to do the same now along my lower lash line and just apply it along underneath my eyes. And now we're looking suitably crazy. So it's time to move on to our black eyeshadow. So this is the scary part. Now, because I used a very pliable um, or a very blendable black eyeshadow base, it might have gone into the lines. Just lightly run over with your synthetic brush, whatever brush you're using, if that happens. And then with your black eyeshadow, use a paddle brush. So this is my 232 by Zoeva, or you could use the 239 by MAC or any similar paddle brush. Pick up on the side of the brush and tap off excess. Now make sure you tap off excess so that there's not tons of fallout, but this is why you would do your eyes before your foundation or at least before setting your foundation so you have the chance to clean up any fallout. Another option though would be to just get one of these cotton pads and cut a semicircle in it and lightly hold that just around the eye area so it'll pick up any of the fallout. And then start to press the black eyeshadow above your, or onto your lid rather. And again, try and make it as intense towards the lash line as possible. I'm not worrying about bringing it right up to the crease. It's okay if it looks a little bit gappy for the minute. Now, if you don't plan on wearing black eyeliner above your lash line, it can be useful to have a angled brush on hand. So this is like the 217 by MAC or the 317 by Zoeva. No, it's not the 217, the 263 by MAC or the two, yeah, 263, I think it's, I'm forgetting my MAC um, numbers already. But what you would do there is just pick up some of your black eyeshadow, tip off excess, Again, feel free to use your little cotton pad if you want, and then press that right in against the lash line, just in case any wee gaps are still visible. I also like to use the same brush, so just a little angled brush, and I use this, tap off loads of excess again, and press the black right up against your lower lash line. This will help set that um, coal pencil and also intensify the lash line. And then going back to our pencil brush, I'm gonna clean that off as well so there's not a load of product, and then use that just to lightly 
diffuse the black eyeshadow we just applied underneath the lower lash line. You don't want anything too harsh when it comes to black smoky eyes. That's usually where you see people going wrong is just when it's a little bit too stark. And you can already see that starting to look more diffused than this side. And always use a light hand. You don't want to really pull and tug at the skin. You just want to lightly diffuse the eyeshadow. And now one of the most important steps in this whole process is to use your blending brush again. Um, obviously it's the clean one, not the synthetic one. Pick up on the tip of the brush. So not on the side like we did when we were applying it to the lid. Tap off excess. Again, feel free to go in and use your little semicircle if you want. And then what we're gonna do is place the brush on the outer corner because where you place it is where it's gonna leave the most product. And we want the most product out here initially. So place it into your crease and regardless of what your eye shape is or like whether you have a hooded eye or not, you will be able to feel that crease. And then start to literally just press that brush in the crease and bring it back and forth, which will make your eye look a bit crazy, but this is how you really blend it out. And what you're gonna do is windshield wipe promotions just back and forth and back and forth and keep doing this until you're happy with how much product you are depositing. And don't add more product until you see how it looks. So if you're using a, a mirror very, very up close to yourself, step away from it, look into a mirror further away and see how it looks. Now, personally with my eye shape, I like to have it visible a little bit above the crease. So again, go into the crease and then you can venture up a little bit further and only apply a little bit at a time because it is very easy to go too crazy and definitely make sure you have some tissue with you at this stage so your brush doesn't get too dirty. Because initially you want to apply the black but after a while you only want to blend it out and if you're continuously applying more and more product um, it's really hard to blend out. So for my eye shape I'm going to try and have most of the black visible on this outer corner and I won't be bringing it up too much further there on the inner corner. And then you can start doing those little circular motions. I do my little motions going in towards the center of my face. I don't go out because if you do your circular motions going out, what can happen is you can flick product and it'll fall out down here, but also you're liable to go down too far. So at least when you're kind of going up, I just got some on my nose. <laughs> but at least when you're going up, you're more likely just to go up into the crease, which is what you want. So you can see how smoky that looks now compared to this side. This side just looks like a little hole in my eye. So just keep blending and buffing until you're happy with the level of smokiness. Now, that's fine enough with the black eyeshadow. And what I'm gonna do next is deal with this inner corner because sometimes you don't know whether to add anything extra or like does it look a bit daft when it's just like stop and start. So what I personally like to do, and this of course is um, extra, what you could do is just get your uh, highlight that you used earlier on and apply some to the inner corner. I like to apply something with a bit of color in it because of course it's just such a black intense uh, look. So this is the Bourjois um, Color Intense Pot in the number 11. So it's this lovely lilac color and then pick up your whatever you use. It doesn't even have to be glittery, but I just love this. And then lightly apply that to the inner corner. So obviously apply it to the clean skin first so it doesn't pick up any product. And it is nice to have something a little bit light reflective. And then start to slowly pull a little bit of that product over onto the black. How much you pull over is up to yourself. And I just think that's lovely for really brightening up the inner corner and adding a little bit of dimension to an otherwise quite a flat look. Now, what I'm gonna do to finish off is apply plenty of mascara. You can, of course, apply black eyeliner over the top, but I do think it's unnecessary with such an intense smoky eye. I'm gonna use my um, Extended Play Giga Black Lash by MAC and apply plenty of that to both my top and bottom lashes. 